When the name of a movie is Cocaine Bear... A bear did cocaine! You can expect critics to snort. <laughs> but the Bonkers trailer has moviegoers salivating to see the film featuring a bear high on coke embarked on a murderous rampage. Sharknado, but for bears, but on cocaine. And then there's that tease, inspired by true events. This much, at least, is true. Millions of dollars worth of cocaine fell from the sky this morning in Knoxville, Tennessee. That did happen in 1985, when a drug smuggler named Andrew Thornton died in someone's backyard when he jumped from a small plane with bricks of cocaine and a duffel bag attached to it. It looked like a gentleman jumped out of an airplane with a parachute that was too small for his load. But before he jumped, he apparently dumped other cocaine-filled bags, and a 170-pound bear was found dead among the drugs on a Georgia hillside. Officials said he OD'd. The movie shows the bear dining on coke. No, 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 don't eat that, don't eat that. The real bear died from the drugs, and there was no killing spree. It's believed the stuffed bear eventually ended up in a place called the Kentucky for Kentucky Fun Mall, where you can buy cocaine bear earrings, and even what they call a blow globe does not contain cocaine. What the f is wrong with that bear? The poor guy is being compared to Scarface. <laughs> Some are calling him Pablo Escobar. A nickname even a coked-up bear might not take lying down. Ginny Merce, CNN. And don't ever come down. New York. <laughs>